Hello and welcome. My name is Todd Hutchison and in this session I want to talk about the key principles set out in the Australian Privacy Act 1988 that is relevant to investigation work. The Privacy Act 1988 is an Australian federal legislation and it sets out the provisions to protect the privacy of individuals. For context, Australia is a party nation to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. That means that the country has undertaken to adopt legislative measures that give effect to the right of persons not to be subjected to arbitrary or unlawful interference when it comes to their privacy, family, home or correspondence. Australia is also a member of the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, which recommends that member nations embed principles concerning the protection of privacy and individual liberties into their domestic legislation which has been acted in this case by the Queen and the Senate and the House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Australia. So in this session, I will introduce the 13 Australian privacy principles that are set out in Schedule 1 of the Privacy Act 1988 as at January 2020. The first two principles in Schedule 1, Part 1 of the Act relate to consideration of personal information privacy. These include the Australian Privacy Principle 1 that promotes open and transparent management of personal information and the Australian Privacy Principle 2 that promotes autonomy and sumanimity. The next three principles in Schedule 1 Part 2 of the Act relate to collection of personal information. These include the Australian Privacy Principle 3 that covers the collection of solicited personal information as well as the Australian Privacy Principle 4 that covers dealing with unsolicited personal information and the Australian Privacy Principle 5 that promotes notification of the collection of personal information. The next four principles in Schedule 1 Part 3 of the Act relate to dealing with personal information. These include the Australian Privacy Principle 6 that covers the use or disclosure of personal information as well as the Australian Privacy Principle 7 that covers any direct marketing. Also, the Australian Privacy Principle 8 that covers cross-border disclosure of personal information. And the Australian Privacy Principle 9 that promotes the adoption, use or disclosure of government-related identifiers. The next two principles in Schedule 1 Part 4 of the Act relate to integrity of personal information. These include the Australian Privacy Principle 9 that covers the use or disclosure of personal information, as well as the Australian Privacy Principle 10 that reflects the quality of personal information, and the Australian Privacy Principle 11 that covers the security of personal information. The last two principles in Schedule 1 Part 5 of the Act relate to the access to and correction of personal information. These include the Australian Privacy Principle 12 that covers the access to personal information. And finally, the Australian Privacy Principle 13 that promotes the correction of personal information. So in summary, I hope this gives you a quick overview of some of the key principles embedded into Australian law for dealing with privacy.